on Seamus. Oh, Don't be the, rude. The after hours show is if, wild. If yeah. you suck a trans woman's penis, is that gay? It's not. No. You're, you're sucking a woman's penis. <laughs> yep, that's me. Stop. No, that's yeah, gay. I know. Stop. I'm, I'm blowing mine. We are in a, in a situation right now where it is safer than ever for people to come out and, and if they're queer, bisexual, whatever it is, and because of that, they feel safer expressing that. That's why Gen oh, Z wow. of all I was generations... concerned there was a transgenocide. Yeah, so he, here's... This is this is the actual statistics on people increasing. You can see the red one. Mm -hmm. that, that is Gen Z. That is the amount of people who in Gen Z, it's skyrocketing. It looks so, like they're so identifying more than ever because so, their generation feels more comfortable talking so about this kind of stuff. So you don't think that there's like a, a trans genocide or anything like that? I don't think that there's a trans indoctrination that is coming through media. Genocide, that is, I said. I, yes, and I'm saying that I don't think there's a trans indoctrination coming through media that is programming kids to become trans. That's weird because if you are born a gender and you act anything outside of that norm you're gonna have a certain conversation because you can only be a cis man the way it's socially portrayed back in the day as if michael jackson's don't exist i think that's ridiculous so and if you, you want to change but, topics to talk about trans genocide we can move on to that but but that, it, you, you it, asked me specifically why right, is there a, why is there a spike yeah. that is why okay so my follow-up is you think trans people feel safer than ever no. Right now, there's over 400 different bills being pushed in the United States that is directly targeting trans people. So they don't feel safe. Mm. They, of course they don't. So then why are they coming out if they don't feel safe? <laughs> they have more access because that generation, Generation Z, has a lot more acceptance towards trans people than older people who pass laws, draconian people who pass laws. Ah, oh, here we go again. The boomers are the ones running the show right now. They're still the ones in government. They're still the ones passing laws. There's very few Generation Z in government or parliament. You want, you want to know what, what I think? I think... There is a trans genocide. Okay. And I think it's you. Okay. Because you're sterilizing a lot of these people. How so? I mean, you're they're literally sterilizing them. The, yeah. the surgery to remove the gonads, hysterectomies, and puberty and cross sex hormones and puberty blockers have a high rate of sterilization. I mean, first of all, uh, removal of the gonads in the uterus is an absolute sterilization. And then puberty blockers have a very high rate, uh, and uh, cross sex hormones have an extremely high rate of sterilizing the individual. Yeah. So right. these people can no longer reproduce. That's genocide. Is this, is this the joke you're going to go for? Is joke? For? <laughs> you are removing these people's ability to reap. It's like his brain just stopped working. If, if we made that suggestion, I don't know, to the black race. Why would you, you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? So they don't accidentally make more babies because we don't more want baby daddies. You would call that a, a genocide, right? <laughs> we produce. Mm -hmm. And if they're at a young age and they haven't had the ability, like for instance, Jazz Jennings can never have kids. Jazz Jennings also, and this this uh, probably part of your studies, can't actually feel any set, like sexual uh, feeling of, of any kind. Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea how weird this sounds right now? No, it's not like, weird. Why, why are you obsessing what, what, with what, a stranger's what, genital pleasure? That's so weird. That's so bizarre. That was very weird yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are all weird. No, no. So I'm talking about adults who engage in activities, which is a large portion of the global economy, whether you like See? it or not. Sure. Sex sells, they say. And when I say this person will never have this ability, you go, how weird is that? It's weird for you to fixate on a stranger's genital pleasure. That's strange. That's so bizarre. Well, like, she's why, public why? about it. But, but that's see, that's, you're not making an argument right now, is my point. I'm not. I'm saying it's weird. It's not an argument. Yeah, I'm that's, just like, that's, I, that's an observation. So you're trying to make a, an appeal to emotion to, and an appeal no, to shame. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving you my genuine thought when you say something like that. Like, well, that, why, it, was, why that we, it was a really fucking pathetic attempt at trying to make an argument. Why should we talk about that? What? It, it's weird. That's just like me saying, why do you always think about women getting raped on the street for feminism? But why should we discuss whether or not she has genital feeling? That's not important. It's not, she, I, that, that's not in my business. I mean, officially, it could work. Maybe you don't need it. But the problem is they're going to see people that have it and they don't. That's why they transition. Because they were seeing a woman which they identify as, but they don't. So they did something to their body. They have a mission. They have a utopia. They have a purpose. And it will always reflect on cis people. So let's focus then on the sterilizing of the individual. Do sure. you, are you okay with that? When who's sterilizing people? Jazz Jennings is sterile. Why are we going back to Jazz Jennings? I don't because know. Jazz I Jennings don't know is because she's her. sterile because and it's promoted on TV, bro. People are watching this as if it's normal and okay. Because Jazz is a famous individual on cable television. So if she is sterile for whatever reason, what does that have to do with me? Why, why does that concern me? Do why should I pass legislation? The sterilization to... Because you only care about the moral points, but you don't care about the long-term stuff. Because you're like, maybe they don't want kids. I'm like, maybe, 
but they started before 18, so they never had time to think to decide that. You made that decision for them. And if they feel guilty, you're going to blame society. This is such a weird way to frame this. No. Like, you are removing teenagers' ability to have children. Yeah. I'm not doing anything. I'm not a doctor, Tim. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. It's not my fault. I just, I'm supporting a lot of people. You're just got at collateral damage. You I don't have the ability it, to do this. Right? I support people having access to health care. Oh. Of course. Why would I want to prevent that just because do some people agree? have bigotry towards them? Let's and I'm supporting people to Jesus and just be happy with their body if they believe in God or not. My nigga. <laughs> Let's try again. You seem scared sure. of this. Do you believe that parents and doctors mm. should have the ability to remove the ability of a child for, for future reproduction? They should have the ability to give them access to health care. Of course. Of course they should. So why do you keep you're, saying you're, like that? you're implying that every single gender affirming care results in sterilization? I didn't that say is that. that is not true at all. I said the, the removal the, there's of there's also the... people who are trans that never get bottom surgery. You seem very scared of this. It's scaring you. How how am I afraid to? Because you keep deflecting when I ask. So Jazz Jennings is a specific deflecting. example. Let's try. I, let's try this. Let's, I, let's, Tim, let's, let's Tim, slow down and go one point at a time. You right? think I'm deflecting because I don't want to keep talking about someone's genital pleasure who's a stranger. Nice I'm saying, try. It, should, I sh I'm nice saying try. it shouldn't concern nice you. Try. It shouldn't concern nice try. anyone, Tim. Your appeal to emotion is not going to work on me. I'm asking you a science. I know I can appeal logic. to your emotion. I'm trying a logic based question sure. about the future of, of these people. I believe you are genociding them. I believe you cool. and you intend on genociding autistic individuals. I genuinely believe that. Who's autistic in this? A large portion <laughs> of trans kids are autistic, namely yes. females. That is the main reason I'm very interested about this stuff because I have an autistic kid too. So I'm very aware how they don't feel they apply to the social norm in society like other men or women. So it's easy for them to find different things to enjoy their life. And there are certain people that push this agenda. They're going to be like, hey, I guess your kid is this. And I don't need that in society right now surrounding my kid. I had the puberty blockers at age 11 and hormones at when I was 12. She's one of the first to have undergone complete pubertal suppression and lack of growth of the skin and other tissues which we rely on as surgeons to do this operation. I was just not expecting her to have a complication as severe as what she did have. <laughs> the wounds were definitely separating and she formed like a blister. Like, it's almost like a blood blister. As we were getting her on the bed, like, I, I felt something go pop. And when I looked, the whole thing had just split open. So the dehiscence on the outside, it was it was bad. She really was under so much tension that it created these large wounds. So we took a, a little bit of a skin graft from the other side of her groin, which we didn't use before. And uh, I just put that in over the open wounds, repacked the vagina, and we covered everything up. And let the skin recover as much as it can. Skin grafts don't always work. And if that happens, then we will probably just do the skin grafts again. Let me just take a, a picture too. Poor thing, you could be a porn star for all the <laughs> photos you're taking. I have some concern that we can get enough mobility of the tissues that we can make the labial structures look convincing. You know, I really thought after this third surgery that everything would be smooth sailing, but now there's this whole hiccup. My pee stream is not quite going out in the right direction. And just recently, I've been experiencing less clitoral sensation. I feel like I've already lost the aesthetics, you know? Hopefully after this revision, it'll look good once it heals. But if I lose some of my sensation and nerve endings, I might never experience an orgasm. Every single child who was, or adolescent, who was truly blocked at Tanner stage two is, has never experienced orgasm. I mean, it's, it's really about zero. And it's because they never in their lives are exposed to testosterone. And if, and if you think this is not going to affect a kid, that's like a poor kid watching a rich kid and you tell them, well, you made the choice back in the day that you will always be poor. So whenever you make too much money, the bank just removes the money. You don't think that will affect a kid's brain? Amen. We all know the grass is always greener on the other side and you need to teach kids this, but they're not teaching kids this. In the past few months have just been so challenging. <laughs> and it's just been such a struggle. <laughs> Two years ago, I was on my way to one of the greatest institutions in the world, but I was actually struggling severely with mental health issues. 
Alright, once it zeroes. I started binge eating and I gained weight and more weight and more weight. And now almost a hundred pounds heavier. Here I am today. Dilation is a process that comes along with bottom surgery. Basically, you take this long acrylic object and insert it up your vaginal canal so that you maintain depth and width. It's really important that you do this because if you don't, your vagina will start closing up and it'll lose its depth and you won't be able to use it properly. I have woken Jazz out of a dead sleep and taken the dilator and put the lubrication on it and said, here, you take this and you put it in your vagina. If not, I will. Bye. Don't forget to dilate. Oh. Exhausting. It I just know. doesn't stop. It's okay. Give me a hug. It's okay. I know what you're going through. No, you don't. Stop lying. Because clearly, you're happy with your body. She ain't happy with her body. She hasn't been there before. No, it's no, not. I'm the one doing it. Like I know. You're your own worst enemy. And I really want to have that clarity. I really want to understand myself and be able to read my own soul and what I want. And it's just very challenging. And I think I'm kind of breaking down a little bit. And I just want to feel like myself. Like, that's right. it. I don't like care. All I want is to be happy and feel like me. And I don't feel like what me ever. Me? But let me know what you guys think about the whole situation. I'm going to take care of my kids, help them to be happy in their own body and go forward. And even if they have some confusion about the whole situation, I will just let them explore it in the best way they can. As if, hey, I just want to understand this and have a different point of view. It's okay for kids to explore. They're kids though. If they want to be Wonder Woman, cool. If they want to be Captain America, cool. But I will never tell them, you're freaking Superman, go fly. Sacre bleu!